Monkey Tales. The Monkey and the Crocodile by Monkey Tales. Once upon a time, in a lush jungle near a winding river, there lived an old crocodile named Clarence. Clarence was well known among the jungle animals for his age, but not for his hunting skills. The river was full of lively fish, yet Clarence, with his aging reflexes, found it increasingly challenging to catch a meal. One sunny day, Clarence basked on the riverbank, his tail swishing lazily in the water. Nearby, a mischievous monkey named Marvin swung from tree to tree, observing Clarence's failed attempts at fishing. Hey there, Clarence. Having a tough time with the fish today? Marvin called out, his voice echoing through the jungle. Clarence sighed. Oh, Marvin, my friend, these fish are too quick for an old croc like me. Marvin, always quick-witted and full of energy, grinned. No worries, Clarence. I've got something better than fish. Follow me. Intrigued, Clarence clumsily walked behind Marvin as they reached a magnificent mango tree, its branches heavy with ripe, juicy mangoes. Here you go, Clarence. Mangoes, the kings of the jungle fruit. Marvin exclaimed, tossing a few ripe mangoes to Clarence. Clarence's eyes gleamed with delight. Marvin, you're a lifesaver. These mangoes are a feast. From that day on, a heartwarming friendship blossomed between the old crocodile and the lively young monkey. Marvin would bring mangoes to Clarence whenever he saw him on the riverbank, and in return, Clarence shared stories of the jungle and its inhabitants. As their friendship deepened, Clarence introduced Marvin to the serenity of the riverbank. They would sit together, watching the sun dip below the horizon, casting a warm glow over the jungle. However, trouble was brewing in Clarence's crocodile nest. His cunning wife, Camilla, observed the growing closeness between Clarence and Marvin. Camilla, always with an eye for an opportunity, hatched a devious plan to turn their friendship to her advantage. One evening, as Clarence was relaxing in the glow of the setting sun, Camilla approached him with a sly grin. Clarence, my dear, I've been thinking. How about you bring me a special treat? Clarence, genuinely wanting to please his wife, inquired. What do you desire, my dear, Camilla? Camilla's eyes gleamed with mischief. I've heard monkey foot is a delicacy. Bring me Marvin's foot, and you'll have my eternal gratitude and I'll love you forever. Clarence was taken aback. Camilla, that's ridiculous. Marvin is my friend. I won't harm him. Are you crazy? But Camilla, with her persuasive cunning, insisted. Think of the praise, Clarence. You'll be the hero of the crocodile community. Just imagine the feast we'll have. Really? Camilla, I'm not doing that. Conflicted and feeling the pressure, Clarence reluctantly agreed to Camilla's sinister request. The next day, as Marvin swung by with a fresh batch of mangoes, Clarence hesitated. Marvin, my friend, I need to tell you something. My wife, Camilla, she... Clarence struggled with his words. Marvin, sensing Clarence's unease, interrupted with a chuckle. Old pal, you don't need to explain. I already know about Camilla's craving for monkey foot. It's an old crocodile thing, I suppose. In their plight, Clarence and Marvin hatched a cunning plan to trick Camilla. Clarence strategically placed a trap to give the illusion of capturing monkey's foot. Marvin, with a mischievous glint in his eye, suggested. Let her think she has monkey foot for dinner, but it will actually be dried mango chutney. Sounds like a deal, Marvin. Clarence agreed. Relieved and grateful for Marvin's support, Clarence realized the depth of their friendship. That evening, as Camilla approached, Marvin began a theatrical performance, pretending to have lost his foot in a daring escape. Help me! My foot is badly injured! Marvin shouted, hopping around on his front hands. 
Well, monkey foot! Camilla exclaimed with delight, thinking her feast was at hand. Little did she know that the supposed monkey foot was just dried mango skins and chutney. Clarence, go and fetch my monkey foot feast, said Camilla. After the show, Clarence went to Marvin and took the dried mango chutney to his wife, successfully pulling off their plan to save Marvin and preserve their friendship. Camilla, delighted with her apparent victory, rejoiced, Clarence, my hero. That was a great feast. Little did she know, that the true feast was the enduring friendship between an old crocodile and a mischievous monkey. And so, in the heart of the jungle, laughter echoed through the trees as the two friends celebrated their bond, stronger than ever, under the moonlit sky. The moral of the story is that true friendship can withstand even the most cunning schemes. It teaches us that loyalty and kindness between friends are more valuable than selfish desires or external pressures. Monkey Tales